you're going to see a big payoff for Cardano and Singularity Net as DeFi mainstreams and DeFi merges with traditional finance. Then you have large traditional financial organizations that want blockchain inside and they're increasingly going to be dealing with blockchain with public blockchain markets and they're going to want nice interoperation between them. Mm -hmm. And their and their their software frameworks are not as good as Cardano, but they're better than other blockchains, so they, they don't want to take a step backwards, but they will but they will take a step forwards. And the, this this could be what what turns Cardano into a hundred billion dollar market cap, right? It, it, it's going to be becoming the engine of DeFi and then being the engine of DeFi when DeFi merges with traditional finance as AI gradually takes over finance and singularity net is, is, is jumping in there. And then, you know, within a few years, I mean, you can have tens of trillions of dollars of financial transactions being coordinated by machine learning algorithms running a combination of public and private Cardano blockchain, right? It almost has to happen. Both AI and blockchain in principle should underlie essentially all software and software is increasingly underlying essentially all aspects of human pursuit. So I mean, I mean, the the the, uh, the upper limit is, is really not there because we're expanding toward a technological singularity. For the first time in human history, like we're living in a time when all these revolutions can happen in in our lifetimes this is the stuff that excites me bro the stuff that i really believe that we are in a revolutionary period of history where the internet enabled so much to happen almost all at once blockchain technology artificial intelligence robotics genetics this is all stuff that I believe in investing in and I, I genuinely believe that the more you learn the less you'll care about the price.